Welcome back to the game room. Spec Ops. Omega Squad. Um, yeah. I just died. And I still don't really know where I'm going. What's up? Well, that was a long shot. Uh, yeah, it's on the Dreamcast. Uh, it's not the best example of a first-person shooter from this era. Yeah, not the best example. There are a lot of other examples that did it better. Um, Quake, Quake 3 Arena, for example, on the Dreamcast. Uh, control on this is slightly brutal because you can strafe. You can't strafe and go forward, which is a real problem. So you can't sort of, you can circle around someone. Um, and unfortunately, you can't invert the left hand, left hand, uh, left hand, the analog stick. I didn't realise that. You can see. Uh, you can see your footprints. Uh, so yeah, you can't invert that. That's a real problem for me. Uh, I think. Even back then, the the option to invert. See, this is where you can't walk forward and then begin to strafe. But no, uh, no directional arrows. Nothing telling me what to do, which is okay. Uh, no idea where I'm going. But if you're looking for a, I mean, it's not first person, but a nice, good uh, squad-based shooter, tactical shooter, is hidden and dangerous on the piece on the Dreamcast. I mean, again, it's graphically it's limited. Seem to be taking down quite a few bad guys. Also, again, if you notice, this has got quite severe boulders on it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sure that guy just shot the other AI. He got in the way. The AI is not that good on this. It just seems to be quite basic and routine. I, mean, I keep coming across bad guys, so I must be going in the right direction. I hope. Oh, well, I thought this was... Um I'm sure this is squad based at some point. I did play a lot of it back in the day. Um, and there was another first person shooter. It was terrible. The loading times on it were awful. Can't remember what, what, what the title was. Right, you've got to be patient with this one. But again, it would have been better to have seen more of this kind of thing, uh, more variety. I 
you know, more variety rather than Sega doing what he used to do, keep relying on nostalgia, keep relying on, you know, let's bring the arcade experience home. Um, the arcade experience in the home is all well and good, but it's only a five minute wonder. Oh, you shit. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just talking, you know, speak for myself here. I, I don't really want to sit down and play uh, Daytona for four hours in the evening. Oh, shit. We are out, folks, and I can't seem to pick up any guns. I've noticed the guns keep disappearing after a while, that the, uh, the enemy drops. So we're just going to head into this on a suicide mission. We'll get the knife out. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm a good squad. Spec Ops. Uh, yeah. Not the most memorable FPS conversion. Uh, but commendable in the sense that the console badly needed variety uh, back then. And I used to be really interested in these conversions. I mean, I was, uh, you know, I was a PC gamer as well back then. But uh, I was always like, enthusiastic to see these sort of things come over but Hidden and Dangerous is good that's a good one um, it gets really uh, really poor frame rate when you try and drive a vehicle in that game and god knows what the Playstation version was like uh, although saying that graphically it may not be as good as the Dreamcast but it might play better so yeah, thanks for watching I'll see you soon, bye bye